What's up guys? Do another Q&A with Travis Brady. So this message we got from Chris, probably the most common question I get is, so I want to be a life coach. Where do I start? Yeah, I think everyone asked that question and they always ask the same one too. I want to be a life coach. Where do I start? First, Chris, I love you, man, but you're not a life coach. You are a personal trainer coach, you're a dating coach, you're a financial coach, okay? You're a confidence coach, you're an identity coach, okay? You're not a life coach, okay? Very few people have that title. And when you use that title, no one even knows what you do. A life coach, okay, it comes off very arrogant, uh, egotistical, okay? You want to really narrow down in who you are helping, okay? So I go back to the foundations. I talk about this in a video. Four W's. Why do you do what you do? What's the way you do it? Who, okay, not everybody. Who do you work with? And what's the transformation from working with you? Okay, so where do you start? You start with here. You start inside of your heart. Okay, you start with what do I want my business to really represent? What what do I want to change in the world? What, what industry needs evolved? How can I bring people together? What's, what's there some problems? What are some problems I'm good at solving? What experiences have I been through that would really help people? What are some of the hardest things I've ever had to work through in my life? Okay. So you're starting from your experiences versus I know this information versus I know this. And the reason why I say get away from the information is because we all have information. We all can access information anytime we want. And it's not the information that really gets people to work with you. Okay, no one gives a shit about your information. Chris, fuck your information. Okay, not that you're focused on your information, but fuck it. Your experiences and what you've been through are so much more valuable than anything else ever. Ever. Okay, you can relate with people. You've been through it. You have empathy on a deeper level, okay? So really start to look at it. You're going to be doing lots of journaling, man. So when I first start with people that haven't entered the coaching industry, but they want to, is we first have to dig down deep. The center of their uh, message and the center of their brand is them, which is you. You are the center of your brand. You are the center of your message, okay? What's your deepest belief about existence, What's your deepest belief about what happens when we leave this earth? What does that mean about our life today? What should we do? Why should we do that? Okay, what's the meaning? And when you start to go there, you dig down into some of your deepest beliefs. And in all my teachings, I always tell everyone, you don't have to believe what I tell you. I'm just merely sharing my experiences. Okay, the goal is, in going to that belief, that deepest belief, is the deeper your belief are and the more certain you're of those beliefs, the more likely you are able to follow through and actually do it. Whatever you believe, you will do. Okay? A Catholic person who believes in Catholicism goes to a Catholic church. Why? Because they believe that. Okay, behind every action, there's a belief. And so one of the things that holds people back from even starting is they haven't dug to those deeper beliefs in their life. And since they haven't gone to that level, it's very surface, it's very shallow. Well, that's why their actions are shallow. That's why they never do anything that's worth doing. They just kind of tiptoe. They just kind of put their toe in the water. And if you've ever gone to a pool and dumped your toe in the water, most likely after do that, you're like, eh, I ain't jumping in. Okay. Dive in to your deepest beliefs. Jump in. See what those are. See what you really want to represent as a coach. Okay. Be next gen. What can you offer that's different and unique amongst everyone else out there? Okay. From what I see from your profile, Chris, you're a great looking dude. You got a lot going for you. You got a really good smile. I can tell that you're open. You just got to go all in, man. The world needs you, Chris. Go do it.